Hello and welcome to another episode of Customs Duty brought to you by Nigeria Customs Service. I am Eunice Johnson. In this episode, Borno State Governor visits Acting Controller General of Customs, appreciates the service's support to his state during trying times, pledges readiness for more strengthened collaboration. Also, Nigeria Customs Command and Staff College Gwagwalada confers on graduates of Junior Course 16 the title past Junior Staff Course PJSC. Plus, operatives at Murtala Mohammed Airport Command intercepts packages of suspected dry shark figs and donkey genitals meant for illegal export. We'll also bring you Customs Hub segment where we'll let you in on activities of import and excise duty collection for the week. I'm Eunice Johnson once again. Welcome. The visit of the Governor of Borno State, Professor Baba Gana Umar Zulum, to the headquarters of the Nigeria Customs Service is one of an ally with whom positive relationship has existed for long, and he finds it timely to appreciate what the service has done to a state over time. Let me first and foremost use this opportunity to commend the efforts of Nigerian customs in uplifting the standard of living of the displaced communities in Borno State and indeed other parts of the northeastern Nigeria. Borno State government and indeed Yobe, Adama and some other states are receiving food and non-food items from the Nigerian customs service for the last decade. And this has really gone well in changing the narratives. And therefore, I'm here once again to solicit for your support for the continuation of the distribution of food and non-food items from the Nigerian Customs Service to the good people of Borno State, especially the vulnerable ones. And under my distinguished leadership, under no circumstances, a bank of rice will be diverted to other sectors. To the best of my ability, we are prudent enough in discharging the responsibilities that God Almighty Allah has assigned to us. He has yet another request. And secondly, peace is now gradually returning to Borno State. I was in Banki, I was in, uh, in, in Gamborungal a few days ago. And your people are doing very well there. I was at the borders also. I also want us to discuss on how possible best we can promote transborder trade. I had a meeting with the Chadian authorities. All of them are looking forward to see how transportation of goods will be enhanced between Nigeria and the Republic of Chad, as well as Cameroon and Niger. Because we want to address the root causes of the insurgency, which are not limited to endemic poverty, pervasive illiteracy, high social inequality, environmental degradation, climate change, change among others. And therefore, the only way we can address the problem of insurgency is to enhance the means of livelihood of the community. Yeah. And one way, to, one way we can do so is by promoting transborder threat. The Acting Comptroller General of Customs, Bashir Adiwali Adini's response is positive, noting that relationship with the government and people of Borno State is encouraging. I can assure you that all these issues that you have raised resonate very, very positively with us. I have been involved in uh, these humanitarian uh, assignments in the Northeast, uh, particularly in Borno State, uh, where we had very, very good reception uh, by your predecessor in office and uh, we'll be willing to work with you, we'll be willing to uh, make interventions that would help you address the problem of uh, uh, the humanitarian problem, particularly those that has to do with uh, uh, providing food and other strategic materials to uh, our citizens who are victims of terrorism happening there. Bashir Adini is confident that with the support of the Borno state government, implementation of governments and ECOWAS directives would be carried out smoothly in the Borno border access of the Nigeria-Niger borders. Uh, I, I plead 
that uh, moving forward, we would need your support to help us engage with our communities around the borders, for them to understand what is happening, and for them to understand <coughs> that the process of getting peace through diplomatic uh, front is still in progress, and we are very optimistic and hopeful that this will yield positive results. Uh, we know that at the end of the day, around these borders, it is still our kids and kings that are occupying these border areas. And we can afford to declare war on our own kids and king. But if there are actions that are taken, posturant to the decision of an ECOWAS set of states, uh, we will want their understanding to let them uh, see with us and see to the success of that objective. The Acting Comptroller General of Customs stresses that with the gradual return of peace to the northeast, resumption of trans-border trade at the entire Brno border areas is worth supporting by the service, but emphasizes that the key factor which follows the return of peace is compliance to government policies in their entirety, and all other positive outcomes, including the return of trading activities, would naturally follow. Smiling faces of officers of the Nigeria Customs Service, their friends and members of their family, converge again at the Nigeria Customs Command and Staff College, Gogoleda. They are here to witness the graduation ceremony of Junior Course 16 of the college after completing their course successfully. While acknowledging the commitment of the directing staff and resilience of the graduates, the commandant of the college reveals that the graduates have acquired numerous skills during the three-month duration of the course including gaining experience during their study tour of commands, an exercise he believes will also benefit the service. The four groups had the same research topic during the tour. However, each command visited shaped its perspective. The exercise exposed the students and directing staff to the border community's activities. The interaction was practically face-to-face to broaden the understanding of the participating students. The knowledge gotten will further be used for border community management for the service. The guest lecture series is another academic exercise that I would like to appreciate the Controller General of Customs for. The students in this regard exposed to opportunity to receive lectures, instructions, and brief from senior officers, resource persons, professionals, and intellectuals on broad spectrum of topics. Junior Course 16 was fortunate to receive a lecture on community engagement in combating smuggling. The ceremony features presentation of certificates to the graduates and awards to deserving ones. The special guest of honor and acting Comptroller General of Customs, Bashir Adiwali Adini, enjoins the graduates to be true ambassadors of the college that has impacted them positively by moving the service and nation forward. This course has largely improved your competence in dealing with customs related matters. It costs a lot of money and resources to make this happen. The service and indeed the nation therefore awaits you to put all you have learned into effective use in the service of your fatherland. You could not have graduated at a better time than now when the service is at the verge of completing the last batch of training of over 3,000 young intakes into the Nigeria Customs Service. Majority of them are of lower Keda who need direction to help position the service on the right path. We have no doubt in our minds, considering the quality of training you have received from this program, that you will prove to be good ambassador of the college and very worthy mentors of the new intakes. Just as the staff course has improved your competence and capacity in custom-related matters, 
The college has equally done a lot to improve your integrity in your relationship with others. The society will surely demand a lot from you in terms of integrity, hard work, and selfless service. Your generation will be expected to perfect the ongoing reforms towards enhanced operational and administrative efficiency. Your contributions towards achieving this mandate begins right now as you leave this college. Bashir Adewale Adini pledges to sustain the drive for capacity building vigorously, pursued by his predecessor, with the view to taking the Nigeria Custom Service to an enviable level in global customs operations. Some of the graduates speak with the customs duty crew. We have been exposed um, to learning both academically, mentally and physically. Um, and um, this learning which has covered areas like service writing, service correspondences, time management, physical strength. I hope to extend this knowledge to, to use in, uh, in uh, accomplishing my goals. I can say for sure now that I'm better equipped to carry out my duties as, um, as an officer of Nigeria Customs Service. What stands out in my learning experience here is um, time management and um, leadership and public speaking. So I intend that going forward, I'll be able to channel my um, newly acquired skills in public speaking and also um, keeping to time and um, ensuring there, there is more improvement in my deliverables in any duty I'm given going forward. Coming into this place and with no expectations, just coming in as an amateur and getting rebranded, it's been wonderful. I have been remolded. I have been rebranded and I'm a better human being first than I'm a better officer now. By this ceremony, a total of 50 graduates have been awarded PASS Junior Staff Course, PJSC. Earlier, a dinner night held in honor of the graduates. <laughs> The Acting Comptroller General of Customs receives a resounding welcome as he visits the palace of the Okiri of Shaki Land. He and members of his entourage are at the palace in demonstration of his commitment to entrenching the desired understanding and mutual cooperation between customs and members of host communities nationwide. The security agencies will do their best, but the communities must come to the help of our security agencies. They must come to their assistance to ensure that criminals do not make use of our, of our border stations. Like I have said, criminals prefer to operate along the border stations where they believe that they will not be caught. If they catch them from this side, if they put it up on them from this side, they quickly run to the other side. Now, smugglers, they live around us. Human traffickers, they live around us. Drug traffickers, they live in our communities. So we owe this country the obligation to assist security agencies with necessary information and intelligence so that we will be able to beat these people to their game. If we have graduates, they are out of uh, college, they are out of university, and they don't have a job to do, it is because the smugglers illegal miners, the traffickers, they are taking control of our economy. So it is time for us to wrestle our country back from all these criminals so that our country will be better for us, the economy of our country will be better, and we can have a better country to bequeath to our children. The Acting Comptroller General of Customs is assured of all necessary support to customs in order for the service to function maximally in Shaki and its environs 
and the royal father uses the medium to remind Bashir Adini that the Shaki community has previously made an offer to the Nigeria Custom Service, an offer he stresses is now reactivated. We believe in Nigeria, and whatever we sustain it, we are going to do that. I promise you that. We are going to cooperate with this government. Whatever it asks us to do, we play our own part. We've written a letter requesting you to come and cite a training school here in China for the post office. And we pledge in, in our letter we are going to give you land free of charge. We are not asking for anything. You see, when we give land free, some people will say, why is KBC doing this? We know what we are going to gain in future. The visit also sees the acting Comptroller General of Customs interact with sister security agencies, and he again gets assurance of readiness for sustained collaboration with the service in curbing smuggling and other crimes in that access. The only request we need from this Customs Service to lie with us in proactive uh, activities and to get us informed on time, we are the least for collaboration and help to succeed. As a mark of commitment to delivery of the Nigeria Customs Service's corporate social responsibility, the acting Comptroller General's visit to Shaki did not end without him visiting an orphanage where he extends his fatherly love to the orphans therein. My assessment visit to this has shown that all three elements are present in Dorian homes and in all such other organizations where we see those elements present, good structure, commitment, passion and organization, we will be extending our hands of uh, assistant partnership, very concrete partnership with them. Uh, we've seen that this place has capacity for almost a thousand kids. So they need to feed them, they need to clothe them, they need to provide them medicaments and things like that. So in any of these areas, periodically, uh, we'll be looking at our stores and we would be sending off those kind of items that can assist them to achieve the objectives for which this kind of homes are set up. Another demonstration of its relentless onslaught against smuggling activities, Federal Operations Unit Zone A has, within the first two weeks of August 2023, recorded interceptions of items attempted to be smuggled into the country with a cumulative duty paid value of 513 million 176 thousand naira. Items intercepted are 4,252 bags of 50 kg each foreign pebble dries. 5,600 liters of premium moto spirits, PMS, 291 bales of secondhand clothing, and 57 sacks and 4 jumbo sacks of used shoes. Others are 486 cartons of foreign frozen poultry products, 190 pieces of rugs, 5 units of vehicles, 170 pieces of used tires, as well as 299 cartons of codeine. These seizures are a fallout of our uncompromising position to strictly enforce the law and protect the lives of our people. The codeine syrup, which is reportedly being abused by mostly young persons in society, is associated with addiction and in the long term usually results in anxiety, depression, memory loss, and damage to vital organs and the brain. It is pertinent to note that the damaging effect of drugs have led to preventable deaths for consumers taking them outside doctor's prescription. The Acting Comptroller General of Customs gives further insight into the reason for the seizure of used tires. The pieces of used tires, six, is not only limited to the implementation of import prohibition lists, but also a giant st stride to mitigate auto crashes caused by damaged used tires. These tires are squeezed, compressed, and tucked into themselves for ease of concealment, thereby causing them to crack. They are oftentimes expired, while their rigidity and strength are always compromised. Drivers will experience a blowout or a sudden rupture, as the steel wire meant to keep the tires 
in shape or to reinforce them have always been disorganized in the course of smuggling. He admonishes on patriotism. We will advise that any investment made in the smuggling business is meant to be a loss because we will keep battling these enemies of our country. I urge all patriotic Nigerians to continuously support the Nigeria Customs Service with helpful information that will aid our efforts to beat smugglers to their game. Bashir Adini uses the medium to assure compliant traders of all the support they require to succeed just as he emphasizes that facilitation of legitimate trade is an obligation of the service, alongside other assigned responsibilities. Murtala Mohammed Airport Command has continued to record successes in its various areas of operation. As he addresses members of the media, Customs Area Controller of the Command discloses that his command has recorded improvement in revenue generation so far in 2023 over the previous year. Period of January to July 2023, Murtala Mohammed Airport Command generated a total sum of 47 billion. 249 million 785,000 and 20 naira 44 kubo, which, which represent 82.24% of target met for, 20, for the year 2023. This when compared to the same period in 2022 of 40 billion, 335 million, 607,000. 654 Naira and 90 Kobo represent a progressive difference of 6 billion, 914 million, 177,365 Naira and 55 Kobo. That was about 17.14% increase. He discloses further that anti-smuggling operations of the command within the same period have resulted in interceptions of items with a cumulative free onboard value of 1,232,258,005 Naira. The items are 6 packages of suspected dried shark fins and 25 packages of suspected dried donkey genitals. The suspects in connection with this illegal intended export has been arrested and investigation is ongoing. Those items were seized mainly because of various forms of infractions on export guidelines and failure to comply with CITES, that is Convention on International Trade on Endangered Species, with, with other extant regulations as enshrined in the Nigerian Customs Service Act. As he enjoins Nigerians to be more patriotic, he brings to the fore yet another cogent reason for the interception in addition to the provisions of the law. Considering the fact that donkeys are, are endangered species, if we allow these things to continuously go out, you can imagine the role these donkeys play in the ecosystem. One day they will just go and will not see any donkeys again. I know we have uh, foreign collaborators, but Nigerians shouldn't put themselves into doing all these things because of money. It's not everything that should be exported That's to make so money, you know? So you know, at the end of the day, you're endangering these species. And they are using it there. Whatever they use it there, they export and bring them back to us and they get our foreign exchange. It's not the best. Comptroller Mohammed uses the medium to appreciate the acting Comptroller General of Customs and his management team for support being rendered to his command, which contributes to its success. He also appreciates critical stakeholders and sister agencies who continuously collaborate with the service through his command, as well as the press for being objective in their reportage. Hello and welcome to the segment Customs Hub on Customs Duty. This is a segment that summarizes some of the activities of the Nigeria Customs Service regarding weekly revenue generation and other related matters. We take a look at the total number of pre-arrival assessment report issued and revenue collected 
from Friday 11th of August to Thursday 17th of August 2023. The total amount of pre-arrival assessment report, also known as PAR, issued for the week, amounts to 4,955. The Nigeria Customs Service also generated 84,448,065,348 Naira, 31 Kobo in revenue for the week. In another development, the Nigeria Customs Service collected the sum of 2,566,312,953 Naira, 31 Kobo from excise duty. That is all for this segment of Customs Hub. And that's all we have for you on today's episode of Customs Duty. Remember, you could follow all our social media handles currently being displayed on your screen. You could also visit our website, www.customs.gov.ng, for more information about the service. Till next time, I'm Eunice Johnson. Bye.